We can now be pretty confident that we are going to be getting dual wielding daggers, the blunderbuss and of course the void gauntlet. Now whilst this actually isn't from Amazon themselves, the evidence here to me is much stronger than say just being data mined. So I saw this on a website New World Fans, I actually saw it on Twitter, but the original source of this information comes from a German YouTuber called Rocket Beans. Now the video has actually since been removed, I did catch a glimpse of it last night and can confirm that it was real, but he's since had to make it private. Now essentially on the 23rd of August I think he streamed himself playing the friends and family version of New World which for those of you who don't know is generally like an internal build that they need people to play but not everybody to play. Friends and family of course. And it includes some weapons that had essentially been data mined but now we can actually see them in game if you will. It's a little bit hidden behind his camera but you can see where it says daggers and you can see that it says dual wielding one handed weapons for close range melee combat and short ranged throwing attacks. So that essentially confirms that they're at least planning this, it's in the works. The fact that the daggers and all the other weapons are greyed out likely means that he hasn't actually been able to play with them and that they are just placeholders. So whilst it's in game, again, it's not like we've actually seen them in action necessarily. For the daggers, it does look like that it's going to scale purely off dexterity which I think would be fitting for daggers. Now the blunderbuss is very interesting. We can read it here. It says a ranged weapon that fires high damage cartridges, ideal for keeping targets at a distance and long range attacks with a payoff for precise aim. Now the blunderbuss to me is an interesting weapon because it sort of feels and it looks in its picture a little bit like the musket, but I'm not really sure I understand how it's going to work. A bit of me would have thought that it would be a really short range weapon and it would be really powerful, a little bit like a shotgun. I mean, that's just how I imagine a blunderbuss, but it sort of sounds like that it's going to be good for long range precise attacks. But for me, a blunderbuss is like exploding. But you know, I'm not a historical. I don't actually know what I'm talking about. <laughs> However, it does look like it's going to scale primarily and purely off strength, which I have to say is a ranged weapon is very interesting and will allow anybody who wants to play just a pure strength build. So like, you know, like the heavy two handers and stuff like that to also now have a ranged weapon that isn't going to conflict with the stat priority. And then the Void Gauntlet, which I think at this point is probably a shoe in to be the next weapon because we saw the concept screens at the Gamescon and stuff like that. Now it's a little bit interesting because the fact that they are holding a different item to me implies that the Void Gauntlet is going to work in a slightly different way from some other weapons. A bit of me thinks that the actual thing that you hold will decide the kind of weapon damage you're doing, but that's pure speculation on my part. What we have seen from the video is that it looks like it's going to be scaling primarily from intelligence, but secondary focus, which is nice because focus obviously only has the healing staff at the moment. So a secondary scaling would make sense there, which again now leads itself so that you could build the void gauntlet with the healing staff that would maybe be a good secondary weapon we have to presume so anyway for me there's two notable exceptions from this list and the obvious one is pistols because everybody assumed that pistols would definitely be on the list maybe to coincide with daggers but we're also missing what i would like to refer to as the angry earth staff i was pretty convinced that the earth staff would be a damaging weapon based around focus because then you would have a damaging and a healing weapon and it would all sort of make sense they do not make an appearance in this stream. They're probably coming, they're just probably not coming yet. And as I said, I suspect we'll get the Void Gauntlet first, then I suspect we might get daggers, but we'll have to wait and see. That's a bit of a, a guess on my part. So that's it. I will leave a link to New World fans below because I wouldn't have seen this if I didn't see this on Twitter. I know that the video is private. This is the only source where I can get any screenshots and stuff like that. Thank you to them and thank you to you. If you do want to keep up to date with New World news and stuff like that, then please do subscribe. Have a most beautiful day. Goodbye.